the hash slinging, the the blast flinging, the 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 hash sling slash or just kidding. I'm so just kidding. Um, so hi guys, it's me Katie. I didn't think you knew that, but you know now. Anyways, today on this lovely video, I thought I had to talk about things I used to be terrified about when I was a child. And one of those things was for sure the Hashling Slasher episode of SpongeBob SquarePants. I'll be right back. Sorry, my brother's loud when he plays his video ga video games. Anyways, first note, I really, really want to start like gaming on YouTube, but I don't know how to do that. So if you guys know how to do that, comment down below. Anyways, the Hashling Slasher was something that scared the bananas out of me. Like, just it wasn't the Hashling Slasher in general. Just the things that happened when the Hashling Slasher was supposed to be coming. Cause mind you, I was like a freaking six year old, eight year old, I don't know, something very young for that age. And, you know, you're when you are told a ghost story at that age, it's gonna scare the bejeebies out of you and you're just gonna be like terrified. Whatever, and I still have like a ton of videos I need to upload, but they've been here. Oh well. So and also I had my dad's wedding, it was really fun. Anyways, so um the hashling slasher, like when SpongeBob, Spongebob had to take the trash out by himself. That's the part that really got to me. You know what I mean? That's the part that really scared me. Because he was going off by himself to take out the trash in the middle of the cold, scary night after being told a ghost story. And me, when I was younger, if I was told a ghost story, I couldn't let it go. Like, I would get so scared. This one time I was crying, like, sobbing my eyes out because I was going to have to be home alone. Like, it was, like, years ago. Because I'm good now. But uh, when I was younger, I would get so bad at listening to ghost stories. Like, there's one time I was told one about the kitchen, and I didn't enter my kitchen for a while. Like, like I got over it after, like, a couple days, because my friends were like, you're never going to want to enter the kitchen. Well, I did, huh? Surprise, bitch, I did. I went back into my kitchen. But, um, it still scared me from wanting to go into my kitchen. Like, every th time I blinked, I swear to God, I thought I was going to see that deaf ghost child with the black hair in front of her face going, hi! Like, not high in a nice way. Like, bitch, you're gonna die high. Like, no, I was not prepared for that. I was not ready. No, I didn't want to die. Like, I literally come home every day and I freaking take this big of a knife around my house and make sure there's no freaking ghosts and kidnappers and rapists in my house. Like, I try to make sure none of that's in my house before. I, like, I feel bad for any bitch that's back there. Like, I can't watch ghost horror movies. I could watch easily a, like, Michael Myers movie. Because, bitch, I know not to be stupid if I was in that situation. I do not know how to not be stupid if I was in, a, if I, if I was in like, something like Insidious. Because that's a ghost. Like, what are you going to do? What can you do to defend yourself like, against a being? And so, we have cross. Like, we have, like, two cross in my back room. And I think I've mentioned this before. I always check them to make sure that they're not turned upside down. Because, no, no, honey, I don't need the devil in my house. And back to my dad's wedding. It was in a haunted place. A haunted, haunted place. Actually, there's actually a cool story about that. Like, one of the girls who, like, planned the wedding in her office, like, from time, like, times in the day, you can smell perfume when you enter her office, and it's the ghost spring perfume. I think that's cool. And Gigi, like, just, I just got done watching a Gigi video about ghosts. Anyways. So that was one of my most scariest things. Like, I didn't like watching that episode because it really did scare me. I, I knew at the end that it wasn't, you know, scary. But the first time I watched it, it really did, like, kind of creep me out. The second thing I definitely remember scaring the freaking living crap out of me was Twitches. Like, the first couple times I watched Twitches, I couldn't watch it alone because the darkness scared me. I know it was just the darkness. But, you know, it looked like a freaking ghost. Like, it was a face. It was, like, it wasn't, like, because it was the darkness. You know what I mean? I, I was never scared of, like, boogeymen. Like, I, I never got scared of monsters and such like that under my bed. Uh, but I was always very, very scared of the darkness because I thought it was, like, some ghost that could come and, like, hurt me. You know what I mean? I got, like, it was when I was very young. It was when I was, like, five. Like, it was when the movie originally came out because it came out in, like, 2005 and I was five at that time. So, yeah. It was when I was very young. Um, so, like, I remember this one time, like, the one of the first times I'd watched it. I don't even know if it was the first time. It might have been. 
Uh, no, I had watched it before then. Whatever. So my mom and my bubba and John were all going to bed. I remember they, we were all out here watching it together. And John was going to bed. And mom and Richie were going to bed. And I was like, no, no, I can't go to bed. You can't leave me out here. I want to watch this. And I'm not watching this alone. You can't leave me. Like, I got psychotic. Like, I was like, no, you can't leave me. And they're like, oh. I don't remember if, yeah, I think they did stay out and watch it with me. Like, John went to bed, but my parents stayed. Yeah, but so I, yeah, that's just one of the things I was very scared about when I was a child. Like, that one time. Number three. Really, dude? So, I had this weird thing as a kid. I loved ghosts, and I still love ghosts. Like, it's this weird thing I, ha I that's about me. Um, I love ghosts. I love paranormal stories. I love everything about that. I I just can't, I don't cope well with them, if that makes sense, you know what I mean? Like, I will watch them, and, like, I'll listen to them, and I'll watch trailers, like, I've never actually watched a full movie, and I'll, like, get, like, it won't affect me until that night when I have to go to bed, and I've actually become good at it, just, like, I watch something happy and all good after it, I usually end up falling asleep to it. But, um, I still check my closet, like, like, cause I was once told this scary story, so I just get scared that there's, like, someone under my bed, or there, like, it's not a per, like, it's not a monster, it's, like, a legit, like, serial killer, like, that's, it was, it was a scary story about, like, the serial killer had, had like, escaped from his mental asylum, and, like, he was apparently under the girl's bed and whatever, and she thought it was her dog, like, licking her hand before she went to bed, but it was actually this sane person. So, that gives me, not, like, that, like, that still affects me to this day. Like, I still look under my bed, and I know there's a ton of junk down there that, like, could prohibit, like, someone from actually being under there, but it still, still like, scares me. And when I'm home alone, my brain does not think like a normal human being. Like, it'll be like, that sound. It can't be like something, f like it can't be a book falling. It's gotta be a freaking ghost. It can't be a, a knock. Like, it can't be anything normal. It can't be my neighbors upstairs. Like, you know what I mean? It, in my brain, it can't be that. It has to be something paranormal. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's the thing that happens in my brain. I can't think rationally if I'm home alone, if that makes sense. But yeah, I still check my closet. I still check under my bed. Um, I'm actually terrified when I, like, because uh, I have to go, like, whenever I have to go to the bathroom at my dad's, I'm terrified because I feel like every time I open that door, there's going to be, like, a freaking murderer, especially because, like, your eyes, my eyes, when I, like, because my lights, my lamp's always on before I, like, you know, at night. So when your eyes adjust to darkness, I don't know if this happens to you guys. It usually happens because it's a normal human thing. Like black spots emerge in your eyes because it's adjusting to the darkness. That's like, you know, it's been transitioned from light to dark. So black spots approach my eyes and I get so scared that like once they clear, there's going to be like a freaking murderer there or like something scary that's going to kill me. I get so, so, so scared. But I don't know about you guys, I can detect vibes of places, Gigi said she can't, like she's never detected like off vibes from places. When I go to a haunted place, I can tell if you know what I mean, like I can feel it, if, yeah, and see that's the thing, I've always wanted, like I've had multiple experiences happen to me, but like that's the thing, whenever I go to a haunted place, I want more to happen to me because I'm just... I'm the weird person, I can't handle it, but wants it to happen. You know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna be freaked out later on, but it's still fun, so... Whatever. Number four, I think this is four. Bloody Mary. <laughs> I actually wanted to film a video on Bloody Mary because I've had a lot, a lot of Bloody Mary experiences. I actually... When I was younger, I had such a fascination with Bloody Mary that I did a report on her. Like, not a legit report for school. Like, I went on my computer and, um, I searched information about her. Like, I looked her up on, like, Wikipedia and all this stuff. Like, I, like, wrote down information about her. And it wasn't even for school. It was for my own fun. And, yeah. So, Bloody Mary was... It was in like the medieval times, that was her time era, and she was a queen that did not treat her 
people properly. She was very mean to them. She was very miserable. And she finally got pregnant because that's the one thing she wanted in her life was a baby. And she, um, I think she actually had her parents killed. I forget. But I think she did, like, had all the rest of her family, like, killed. I forget. But I think that was it. But, um, the one thing she wanted most in her life was a baby. And she got it. But apparently on the ninth month when she was supposed to have it, like when she felt all the usual pregnancy like it's coming, they found out there was nothing even in her womb. She had been growing and showing all the signs, but there was nothing there. And so they said it was a devil child, like it was a non-existent child. And so they thought it was a baby, like that's what the myth is, like, like it's a ghost baby that like never existed. I'm sorry if you didn't hear him. It was so annoying. Anyways, so uh, I just actually found out this this year. Like I never knew you're supposed to say this. So what you're supposed to do is at midnight you go into the bathroom and a lot of people do it differently. Some people actually do it extremely wrong. Some people even go by it by a different name. Like they say a different name. Like uh, Shannon Rose said they did it like they said red rum. So red rum is apparently a different version of Bloody Mary. I don't know. Um, and yeah, I keep looking at that light because I feel like it's going to go out. And, like, I feel like all the light's going to go out and a ghost is going to pop up and go, ha! And I'm just going to be like, bye! Um, but yeah. Um, also, sometimes I get so scared when I'm, like, John's home, so I'm not, like, scared. But, like, when I'm completely scared, sometimes I'll get that scared that I'll actually, like, leave my apartment because I'm just that terrified that there's a ghost. Anyways. Continuation. So, Bloody Mary uh, is like where you're supposed to go in the bathroom at 12 o'clock, turn off, turn off the lights, and lock the door. At least that's how I played. Like that's how you're really supposed to play, because that's how a lot of people played at my school. But there's a lot, a lot of versions, and changed, and the rules are different in a lot of versions. Like it's just so many versions you don't even know. You know what I mean? Like that's how big of a game and myth it is. So you go in exactly what I just said, and you go up to the mirror. You spin around three times, and each time you spin, you say, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. And when you're on your last spin, you stop and you look in the mirror. And apparently a face is supposed to be there. And yes, and apparently I learned this year, if you say, Bloody Mary, I stole your child, she, you, so one of you gets scratched because she's still angry and upset that she lost her child. And because it's called, like, the stolen baby, like, the baby that was never to be, you know what I mean? Like, it was, like, a baby that she should have had but was never there. So, you know, she's going to get pissed off, excuse my language, if you say, I stole your child. Like, you know what I mean? She's going to get really mad if you say, I stole your child. Um, but, yeah. What is that? Okay, never mind. That's just a wall. Um, so... Actually, this one time, I did it with Lexi, who's actually on my channel, and she's actually a YouTuber. Um, we had done it when I was younger, and I made her do it with me, and she was very scared, which she will not admit, but I know she was, because I was there. Um, well, she probably wouldn't admit it, I don't know. So, we did it, and we went into the bathroom, and she was very against it, like, she actually made me do it with the lights on, that's how scared she was. And so we did it in my bathroom, and I lied, and I said, holy crap, Lexi, there's a freaking face. There's a face! And she got so scared, that bitch went out, like, she ran. She, like, she screamed. Like, she was, like, scrambling to unlock the door, you know what I mean? Because we had locked it, because that's what you're supposed to do. And she was, like, scrambling. She bolted that door open and, like, went to my couch and, like, started, like, sobbing pretty much like I don't think she was crying I don't remember but like you know she was like freaked out and I just like laughed because I'm not mean of a friend I was laughing my butt off and I was just like I'm sorry bro <laughs> I couldn't even keep a straight face because I thought it was the funniest thing in the whole galaxy that I had scared that scared her that much but that's just mean but um anywho I loved doing Bloody Mary when I was younger because it was a fun scare. I love to scare myself. Like, that's... Yeah, and I just loved scaring myself. That was bad because, I, of course, it would affect me later. I mean, Bloody Mary never affected me, but watching the trailers of, like, haunted things and whatever and, like, telling ghost stories would always affect me when I had to go to bed. 
but whatever. And I just thought it was the funniest thing ever because I pranked a lot of people when we, when we did Bloody Mary. I did a lot of mean things when I did Bloody Mary with people. Like, I actually think I went to a sleepover. I don't know. I went I went somewhere where we did Bloody Mary and it went very wrong. And we and like the parents woke up and like that might just be me since I watched Shane and Rose's video and I just thought maybe that had happened to me. I know a lot of my Bloody Mary experiences went very wrong because I was mean and did things like that to people. Actually, there was this girl in my school that like wouldn't use the bathroom because she was scared. Because we had lied in my school and said the third stall was haunted by Bloody Mary. So one girl like said she, she, like, she refused to like go in. She ended up like crying before she would actually go into the stall. Like she didn't. I, and I, I can't say that's like wrong, I, like I'm not judging her because I was too scared to go in that stall. Like if other people were there, I didn't care, but if it was by myself, I'd be like, no Felicia, I'm going to this one or these two. Like I'm not going in that one, like especially if I was the only one in the bathroom. I mean, I would sometimes, but not a lot. But those were like the main things that scared me when I was a kid, I de like just like those things really. But yeah, so what scared you guys? I want to know. And I hope you all have a great day, and I hope no ghosts are haunting you. And if you do have any paranormal experiences, comment down below. And I love you all so much.